Hi, my name is Shannon Costello and I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and we're in my home kitchen today. We're going to make a seared salmon summer salad. This salad can take less than 30 minutes to prep and it's great for either lunch or dinner. The homemade dressing that we're making is really refreshing and perfect for bringing all the different flavors together. And so this is just a great meal to help add more healthy essential fats, antioxidants, and fiber into your diet. So let's get started. I'm going to make two salads today, but you can easily double the quantities or even just cut it in half if you wanna make more or less portions. Um, I always recommend to make additional portions of salmon so that you can eat it more than once that week. Now the salad ingredients for two includes four cups of spring mix or any type of your favorite leafy greens. Then we're gonna have half a cup of fresh blueberries washed. We'll need half of a medium avocado that will dice, a quarter of a red onion finely diced, and not pictured here is optional goat or feta cheese crumbled into the salad if you'd like a cheesy flavor, and that's about two tablespoons per serving. Now for the salmon, you'll want about three to four ounces of boneless filet per serving. You can either purchase skinless or with the skin on, which is what I have here. It's generally less expensive to purchase with the skin on and then remove it yourself or cook it with the skin on. It's totally your preference. And to sear the salmon, we're going to use one to two tablespoons of cooking oil. I have avocado oil here because it works really well with high heat. You could also use a canola or a regular olive oil, and then just some salt and pepper to taste. We'll also be making a homemade lemon honey dressing that's super simple. You can make extra to use on other salads or dishes, but this is enough for four salmon salads. So I have a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to use one large lemon to give us about two tablespoons of lemon juice and about one tablespoon of lemon zest. And then we have one tablespoon of honey or more if you prefer it sweeter and just about a half teaspoon of Dijon mustard. It helps balance out the, the sweet and bitter flavors. And then again, we have some salt and pepper to taste. That salt will help everything blend together nicely. We're going to start with searing our salmon. I like to use a cast iron skillet for more flavor and a better sear, but you can also just use a large non-stick skillet as well. And we're gonna heat this skillet on medium high for a couple minutes so that the pan is really hot. Once it's hot, go ahead and carefully add the cooking oil to coat the pan. Again, I'm using an avocado because it works well with that high heat. And we'll let that oil heat up just a little bit. Now, if you have a frying guard, this would be a good place to use it just because we don't want the oil to splatter on us. But go ahead and season with salt and pepper. We really like our pepper, so there's a lot of pepper on here, but season to taste. And I am going to uh, flip the skin side down. Again, be careful here onto the skillet and lay it flat. And then don't touch this. Don't move it, don't play with it. We're gonna let it cook here for three to five minutes, depending on your stove, electric versus gas. I usually go for about five. I like a good sear. And we'll step away and make our salad while this is searing. So while the salmon is searing, you just prep your salad bowl. So divide your salad greens into each bowl, add the blueberries, add the red onion, add your choice of cheese if you'd like, and then we'll add our diced avocado. So what I like to do for dicing avocado is to just do it right in the peel. Once it's cut in half, you can take a butter knife or a dinner knife and cut diagonally throughout the whole thing, and then you'll turn it and cut diagonally the other way based on how big you want your dice to be. And then based on how ripe the avocado is, you can either squeeze the flesh and it should pop out, or you can take a large spoon, since I'm going to divide this up, and we'll 
we'll work on spreading that out. And then each salad will get a nicely diced avocado. Once this side has cooked for about three to five minutes, if you have skin on like I do, we're just gonna reduce the heat to medium and then cover this with a lid and let the insides steam. Now, if you don't have skin like me, then you would just flip this over and sear the other side for three to five minutes. What we're aiming for is the thickest part of our filet to reach an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit but we don't want to overcook the salmon because it will get a little chewy. So you can check the temperature and if it's around 130 or 135 degrees Fahrenheit, remove it from the heat and let it rest. There will be some carryover cooking that will bring the fish to its safe temperature. While your salmon is resting, you can easily whip together the dressing. Now you'll either just get a small bowl and whisk everything together, or I actually like to do it in a glass jar. That way I can make more dressing or if I know I'm gonna have leftover, it's already in a storage safe container and we just shake it up really well. So add your extra virgin olive oil and the honey and Dijon, but I'll just quickly show how we're gonna zest. So before you slice your lemon in half to get the juice, we wanna zest it first. And zesting takes away the outermost layer of the peel and we want that brightly colored yellow and so we're gonna take our zesting tool or our microplane and move it around the lemon avoiding that second layer which is that whitish faded yellow which can have a really bitter taste now if you don't have a microplane like this you can take a sharp paring knife and carefully take off little sections of the outer peel, but this is how you'll get about one tablespoon for four servings of dressing. And we'll just add this into the liquid ingredients. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that beautiful sear. It's nice and crunchy on the outsides. It looks like you grilled it, but you just did it right on your stove. So you can either dice, slice, or I like to just fork the salmon apart on top of your salad. And if you're planning on having any leftovers, I would store the salmon and the dressing separately from the salad. That way, none of it goes bad altogether or it gets soggy or anything like that. Plus, you can save the salmon or the dressing to use in other dishes throughout the week. Now, cooked salmon will last in the refrigerator in an airtight container for up to two to three days. So make sure you plan accordingly. Otherwise, enjoy this wonderful summer salad.